Welcome everyone and thank you for attending this live stream event. My name is Rebecca Asbel. I'm an executive member of the board of the Jewish Federation of Edmonton. The Jewish Federation of Edmonton acknowledges that we are located on Treaty 6 territory and respects the history, languages, and cultures of First Nations, Métis, Inuit, and all First Peoples of Canada whose presence continues to enrich our vibrant community. The event today is talking about a project called Shine a Light on Antisemitism. The Jewish Federations of North America held an awareness campaign about antisemitism during Hanukkah. The Jewish Federation of Edmonton applied and received a $10,000 grant from the Jewish Federations of North America to create a mosaic art piece about our, how our community feels about anti-Semitism. The event was held on December 5th, which was the last day of Hanukkah. Then mosaic artist Louis Lavoie facilitated the project by providing hundreds of tiles and finalized the art piece. We were very honored that our own Edmonton Mayor Amarjeet Sohi participated in the event with us. At this time, I would like to introduce Mayor Amarjeet Sohi and ask him why he thinks this project is important for Edmonton. Well, thank you, Rebecca. I also want to start uh, my remarks by acknowledging that I am uh, speaking with you from uh, uh, traditional Treaty 6 territory virtually, and I hope that uh, once we are out of this terrible pandemic that we'll be able to uh, uh, meet in person and celebrate our communities and the good work that is being, uh, being done. Uh, you know, when I was invited to participate in the, uh, in the artwork and the creation of the uh, Shine a Light uh, 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 mosaic, uh, uh, art piece uh, uh, to highlight why we all need to work together uh, tackling anti-Semitism. I had the chance to sit down with uh, uh, some of the other participants, particularly the students uh, who, uh, who shared their own stories, the experience and the challenges they were having in school just because they were from Jewish background. And uh, that brought back some of the memories for me when I was in school and the racism and this discrimination and kind of the loneliness and marginalize marginalization that I was, I was facing uh, uh, when I was of their age. And uh, that's how I created my tile of expressions. And that tile was about feeling lonely, feeling trapped, feeling trapped in, uh, in isolation, feeling trapped in, uh, in, in, in an area that I can't shake it off. And, uh, and uh, when we started talking about that, I found there's so much commonalities between us. There's so much that we can do together to tell our stories and listen to other people's stories and be empathetic towards either, each other's rea realities. And I think that's how we can do anti-racism work, really working together, uh, diverse groups of people coming from different backgrounds, sharing our stories, and really tapping into that sense of community that allows us to learn from each other, that allows us to grow together and face these challenges together, right? So I think that was the, uh, quite an enlightening uh, for me in, uh, in in being part of that uh, that group. Uh, so I really want to thank everyone who participated uh, uh, in creation of this very interesting uh, uh, art piece. Uh, want to really thank the uh, the Jewish Federation of Edmonton. Uh, you know, this is a group that I am uh, interacting more and more with and will continue to interact more with because uh, we have so much in common in uh, in building an Edmonton for all of us, an Edmonton where we all feel this is our city, this is our place, this is where we belong, and we build that Edmonton uh, together. So congratulations to, uh, to everyone. We will continue to work together on our anti-racism strategy that was passed unanimously by the council, and, and we will continue to uh, 
uh, tackle oppression and hate based violence uh, that is causing so much harm to uh, uh, so many uh, minority communities including uh, uh, the jewish communities but we are in this together we're in this together and together we're going to build an environment for all of us so thank you so much for having me today and and, and thank you for including me in this thank you so much mayor sohi for your words and we truly appreciate it that you took the time out of your schedule to come to our event and participate. Yeah. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce Jared Paul. Uh, Jared Paul is also a board member of the Jewish Federation of Edmonton, and I'm gonna ask you why you feel this project is significant for Jewish Edmonton. Well, thank you, Rebecca. And um, the, there, there's just so many reasons why art is so necessary to um to massage out certain feelings knowledge about certain things especially with anti-semitism it can really um live in the world of politics or or um, semantics a lot of kind of arguing over what is anti-semitism does that qualify is this uh technically considered anti-semitism etc um but but these are all semantics and so when you take when you take something like anti-semitism uh, out of the world of semantics and uh, i don't want to come off as anti uh, anti-semantic or anything but um, when you place it in art you discuss the emotions and the experience of the thing um, and you can't argue with those things those those things are real so it's so important to bring something like anti-Semitism into the world of art. And uh, I spent some time with Lewis at his art studio while he was putting together the tiles. And um, we just got to discussing so much and it was because of all of the individual tiles that were on there that inspired so much. Um, and we were talking a lot about how, especially with mosaic art, it's kind of a zooming in and a zooming out process. and you you see from far uh, a really interesting image and the more you zoom in the more you get into the individuals who put together some of the tiles and then you zoom into one particular tile for instance uh, one of them said reliving the experience of my grandparents and then that opens up a whole world of well what was that experience and you can learn about that and so Lewis and I discussing so much and then just seeing uh, Mayor Sohi sitting with the teenagers who were who were uh, putting together their tiles and they were creating art together it was like uh it was really an uncanny thing to see as people creating together learning about each other um this is all because of art and so we created a we created a video to kind of show what the process was like and so i encourage everybody to check it out and see um because it's really quite heartwarming Thank you, Jared. And you spent quite some time creating the video. And uh, I, I believe we will see some clips of that throughout uh, this broadcast today. And uh, we will make sure that it's available for people that uh, would like to view the video. Any other comments about the creation of the video, Jared? Um, well, I guess we're, we're going to hear more about how they're going to be exhibited. Like, I. I think someone will speak to it later, but we're going to have little pieces so you can hear from individuals who made their tiles and what inspired them. And then we also have a kind of a more broad video that shows the entire process from creating the individual tiles, talking about the impetus from the grant and from JFED and then moving all the way through to Lewis's art studio. And it's really quite cool to see, to see, um, art created from start to finish. Thank you so much, Jared. Next, I'd like to intro introduce Louis Lavoie, the artist who created this mosaic piece for the Shine a Light on Antisemitism project. Uh, Louis, I will ask you, where did you get the inspiration for this mosaic art piece? I 
think we're having a little sound issue. Um, Okay, um, Lewis is having an issue with the sound, so we will come back to him. Um, while we're waiting for the tech to get sorted out, I think that we are all very excited to see the finished piece, and then we will hear about the process after. So we will now um, ask the staff at the Jewish Federation of, of Edmonton uh, to unveil the Shine a Light on Antisemitism uh, art piece. Beautiful. Can we hear Lewis yet? Lewis, maybe try taking your ear earphones out because your sound was working uh, before you had them in. Okay, unfortunately, um, that's a tech problem on Lewis's end that we will still need to, to work through. Um, I will also add that um, following the event uh, on the Jewish Federation of Edmonton website, you will be able to see the, uh, you will be able to see the mosaic art piece through virtual reality. And uh, once we are done, and hopefully we can get Lewis's tech worked out, and we will be able to take some reactions and uh, hear from some people in the audience if you've been able to chat in some questions. Oh, and now I think we can- Hi, Rebecca, can you hear me now? Ne Perfect. Okay, good, yeah. Um, well, okay, so obviously my inspiration was a menorah, and during- um, the the holiday season it's just perfectly fitting with uh with hanukkah and um you know it's just a, a great time of year for for people to celebrate this season the uh you know the the whole idea of a of you know during persecution the fact that the light in the in the menorah is um is such a great representation i think of of, uh, of something that's hopeful in, in, you know, anti-Semitism. So, um, and, and one, one thing I really, you know, my new thing I love about, about doing this, this project and, and Jared was sharing some of this with me was, was to comb alum, which is, you know, like, which is what these murals always felt like is where, you know, the world's broken into pieces. And so when I look at, when I'm putting these murals together, I, I see it as a community. Everybody's trying to say something. And so trying to put the pieces together um, is such a, such a great metaphor and, and uh, description of how uh, these murals are. And when you look at them close, they're not all perfectly fitted together. There's little gaps and little pieces in between. And sometimes the color doesn't go right, but overall it's, you know, it's kind of what a community I feel is. It's, um, you know, some sometimes you can't even find a, a tile in there because it, it blends so well with the others. And other tiles just jump out at you and kind of scream, here I am. So um, when I think of Tacoma alone, I think of how, you know, you know, trying to make the world a better place, trying to piece it together a little bit better. Um, I mean, it's just such a great... Um, um, saying for this thing and that's how I, I look at all these murals that I, I've been doing thank you Lewis and coincidentally Lewis told us earlier that in order to make the piece he put together 613 tiles and uh, that is quite a coincidence because Lewis did not know the significance of the number 613 
but for those of us that are Jewish, um, we may know that there are 613 commandments in our Torah. So another significance that was um, unintended, but a very nice coincidence. Um, at this time, I will open it up. Uh, we can take some reactions from the audience. And if you would like to put in some questions, please type them into the chat with your name and the media outlet and they will be forwarded and we can um, put you through to the right person to answer those. Thank you again all for your participation in this event and um, Mayor Sohi for being here and to Jared and Lewis for answering some questions. Okay, there is a question from Karen Tang asking if it is possible to zoom in on the tiles. Um, Tammy, do you think you can go to the mosaic and, and, and zoom in? And for everyone to know that uh, Councillor uh, Karen Tang is one of our city councillors uh, and she's one of my colleagues. So Karen, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, and I'll just add that on the website, um, there is an interactive component where you can have a virtual tour of the mosaic. So uh, if Tammy's unable to get a good uh, zoom in right now, please go to our website, the Jewish Federation of Edmonton, and you will be able to have a virtual tour. Uh, I'm not seeing any other questions yet. Please, if anybody else is on and has questions. We have a few more minutes on the stream and we'd be happy to take your questions. Okay, another question came in. Uh, who created the tiles and where is it being displayed? Which is a question from Nora. And uh, if I can defer that one to Stacy, I will let you speak on that. Thank you, Rebecca. The tiles were created by community members from across our community, from children to seniors. The Talmud Torah School uh, had some participation by their students. The uh, Jewish Drop-In Center had a number of seniors participate. And then we had the event where community members could come from all aspects of the community. And we also had some local uh, politicians and leaders join us as well. The culminating piece we were hoping to place in City Hall uh, today Day, but uh, for obvious reasons, that's not going to happen with COVID right now. So once things start to open up again and people are able to gather, we will be placing it in various uh, Jewish community organizations around the city and then finding a more public place uh, to host it again. Okay, we have a comment that came in. <clears throat> J.S. Goldberg says, beautiful project. A mosaic is a good metaphor to represent the importance of community diversity knitted together. Thanks to the city for supporting this. Thank you for that comment. And Dolores Holt says, hello, I'm watching with interest. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions or comments? Well, if there are no other questions, uh, I think uh, once again to thank everybody for joining on this live stream event today. And please visit the Jewish Federation of Edmonton website uh, after and you can view the mosaic art piece on our website. Thank you.